So Anka rhymes with Tonka. Tonka are those cars that you run into the wall with and then they bounce off. So um, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm Dutch. I on occasion speak a little bit of English. Um, we're going to try that tonight. Um, the story I'm going to talk to you about, the story is about not a physical death. It's a different kind of death. It's a glorious morning. It's beautiful. The sun shines. It's a soccer field that just got mown. And I'm on the top of my game. I'm fast. I just ran the fastest mile ever in my life. Five minutes and 40 seconds. I placed sixth in Atlanta at the corporate um, race that we had. <laughs> and I'm, it's glorious. I'm a stopper, which means stoppers are at the defense, but stoppers have to be really fast because they've got the forwards coming at them, right? So I'm dancing and I'm running and I'm making sure that that ball doesn't get past me and that forward doesn't get past me. And there's a moment where there's a ball right here and I know there's a leg that's kind of coming at that ball and oh my god. I know I can't. I'm going to jump over, right? I'm going to jump and jump as high as I can and jump over. But I am one second too late. She clips my leg. I hear plop. And I'm on the ground. I was somewhere around 25 years ago. And I just lay there. Now the good news is that our coach is my brother. It's another brother story. He's one of my he's one of my younger brothers, but he's tall, and in a moment he's by my side. And he picks me up and he holds me and brings me to the sidelines. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna run the finals, the finals for that five minute forty second mile that I ran, it's coming up. And you know, this thing's gonna be okay, and it's gonna be fine. If I sign we wrap it up. A week and a half later, I'm in the hospital. Oh, we're just gonna, you know, fix the meniscus and it's gonna be okay. I come out in a wheelchair. They have stapled my torn up ACL back to the bone. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, in a week I've got the finals, I gotta run that. I'm the fastest in Atlanta, what the fastest in Atlanta, I wanna go run that. I gotta run that. You're not running that. You see, soccer was my luck. Soccer was the only place where I felt alive, where I felt like I mattered, where I felt like I was somebody. And in that moment, it went away. I didn't know what to do with myself. Until a colleague sat next to me. He said, there's a race. I said, you're screwed up, you goofball. I can't freaking run. I can't even walk. You gotta hold the door open for me. What the? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I used to be a scientist. I was thinking. He said, there's a race. I'm gonna run it. I said, I ain't running nothing. He said, well, there's a three mile version and a one mile version. He said, you can do it. I said, look. I'm on crutches. What do you think? He said, well, what's stopping you? I go, well, what's stopping me? My mind started to think. The gears started to turn. Okay, crutches means it's going to chafe the crap out of you over here, right? So I better have two shirts. And it's really this rubbery, stupid stuff that they've had for 50 million years. We're going to fix that, right? So I'm going to have something soft to hold on to. I have something to slide up and down. Of course we can run that race. Uh, I mean, crutch that race. <laughs> and I did. I did. I did a whole mile on freaking crutches. And I went as fast as I could. And I got my technique down. You know, I tried to do handstands on it. I didn't work. But I, I, I finished that finish line, the last one. But it wasn't the last one in my life anymore. Because you see, Death comes in many different flavors. And what really matters is how you live.